Hey, what's up? Welcome to the video. In this one, we are going to be going over how to add effects to your text. Now, I like to always do this to make sure your screen looks like my screen by going up to Window, Studio, and selecting Reset Studio. That'll bring everything back to default to make sure you're seeing what I'm seeing. Now, let's start a new document to start working here. To do that, I'm gonna go up to File, New, and there's no wrong answer here. Pick whatever you like. I'm picking FHD and hitting Create. I'll link a video below of one I made about how to add text, change size, and change color, but we'll quickly go over something here just in case you haven't seen that. So to get text on your document, you're gonna look in your tools on the left side here. So if you look down here, these are your tools, and your text options are down here. Now, with Affinity, a lot of these tools you'll see in the bottom right corner, a little triangle pointing down. And what that means is there's more tools hidden inside there that are similar or work together. So for text, if I click on this little um, triangle, we have the artistic text tool and you have the frame text tool. Now the artistic text tool is for headings and things where you type a couple lines. And frame text is for text heavy stuff like paragraphs. I'll show you both. So let's click on artistic text tool. When you can see my mouse changes to an A, I'm just gonna click hold and drag to whatever size I want. You can go back and forth. So I'm gonna pick this, I'm gonna type, hit enter. Okay, now I'm gonna go to the move tool now to move my text around. And it's in the top uh, left here. Now with all the tools in Affinity, if you put your mouse over top, it's gonna tell you what the tool does. And in brackets, the shortcut that you can hit on your keyboard to um, to get to it. So I'm gonna click this move tool and now I can move it around. I'm gonna, re you can also resize it by clicking on any of these nodes in the corners here. That'll resize it. You can also resize it by um, going up here and picking a predetermined size or you can just type a size in here and hit enter. So that's how you would add text. Now let's go back down to the tools and pick the frame text tool. So when you click the frame text tool, it's gonna turn to a little T I'm just gonna click and drag out a box. Now, when you do that and you're done, nothing really happens. You can see in the right side here, it's created a layer, a frame text layer, and there's a cursor blinking, so I can start typing. I can paste text in there, or I can insert something called filler text, which is basically just a holder, a placeholder to see what it's gonna look like. And to do that, you're gonna go up to text, insert filler text. And now if I go back to the move tool, I can just move this box around and the text is gonna to confine to the actual box. So I just wanted to show you those quickly again. So I'm gonna delete this. There's two ways to delete it. I can hit delete on my keyboard or with this layer selected, the frame, which is highlighted here and highlighted here, I can just click um, this remove layer button down here. So I'm gonna click that and get rid of it. Okay, so let's go with adding some color and some effects. So two ways to add color. In the top right corner, there is a color panel and in the bottom left, there is color as well. So they both do the same thing. I prefer to use this one, but they both do the same. So you will see a couple circles here. Right now my text is black, my fill color, and the front circle here, which is always lower, is my fill color. And the one behind it, if you click on it, it comes to the forefront, it's still higher, but there is a white circle with a red line through it, which means basically there is no fill color. So I'm gonna add color to it now just to show you. So this is selected, the fill color, and I'm just gonna move my mouse wheel to like a red so you can see it. And now you can see there's a slight uh, outline on my text here. And I'm gonna zoom in to show you. A couple ways you can zoom in. You can hit uh, view, zoom, and zoom in. And to your right of this, you'll also see the keyboard shortcuts. I'm on a Mac, so I hit command plus to zoom in or command minus to zoom out. On a PC, you would hit control plus or control minus. So I'm gonna zoom in. I'm gonna use my keyboard now to zoom in. You can see that there's a red outline. So to make this bigger, a couple ways to do it. I'm gonna show you how you can do it one way and I'm gonna show you how you probably should do it or how I use it because it's a lot faster. So with this selected, if you go over to your tools, you'll see a, the, a, a shape tool, which is right in here, it's a bunch of shapes, or a pen tool over here. Uh, if I click on this one by chance, and not all tools will do this, but these will, if I click on the rectangle tool, you'll see a stroke option appears in my top toolbar. If I click on this, you can see there's a width bar. If I increase this, you're gonna see that the stroke is gonna increase. So this is one way to do it. I'm, I'll show you a better way to do it, in my opinion, but this is an option, just so you know. Okay, so I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna go select my text, 
And again, my front text is, uh, my fill color is black, my outline is red. I'm gonna click this little button here, which means get rid of it. So I'm gonna delete it totally. So now it's gone. Now I just have black text. I'm gonna change this color so you can see it. I'm gonna move it around to something else, maybe, maybe like this, I don't know, this color. Sure, I'm also gonna change the font to something more bold. And you do that just like you would do in Microsoft Word. You go up and from this top toolbar and you select some more text. Okay, now I'm gonna show you how to add effects to your text. So you are gonna go down and look for this uh, little effects button called Layer Effects. I'm gonna make sure my um, text is selected so it's lit up here in the Layers panel and it also has this box around it. I'm gonna to go to Effects and here are all our options. Now this plus and X means basically you can add multiple outlines, you can add multiple sh inner shadows, color overlays, gradient overlays, and outer shadows. So let's click on outline. We're gonna check this little box here. And by default, you can see the color here is black. And if I click this radius and increase it, it's gonna to start to create a, uh, an outline. And I can change the color here by doing this, moving this around. I'll go to black because I think it looks better. And then I'm gonna add a second outline just to see what it looks like. So I'm gonna click on this outline here. This is my second one. By default, the color's black. I'm gonna change this to maybe yellow. I don't think this is gonna look great, but um, let's do blue. Actually, you might be able to see it better. So blue, and I'm just gonna increase the radius. And now you can see there is a black outline and there's a blue outline. So this is a way to add outlines to your text. I'm gonna turn those off by clicking these checkboxes. And then I'm gonna add an outer shadow, which is known as a drop shadow in a lot of programs. So I'm gonna click this box to make sure I have it selected. And you'll see if I increase the radius, the offset, and the intensity, the shadow will start to come through. And you can change the angle and mess around with that. And again, you can add multiple ones or remove some of them. Um, but here you can really go in and really add some really cool stuff to your uh, text. So you can mess around with that. I'm gonna close that. Actually, I'm gonna turn those effects off. I'm gonna go, and yeah, to get back to this panel, by the way, say you had this later and you said, you know what, I don't wanna use this effect. You can click on the effects right here. Uh, oops, sorry, right here. It's gonna bring up the panel, effects panel, and just turn it off. A couple other things I wanna show you here is opacity in your layers panel. So your opacity is basically transparency. So if you turn this down, you're gonna see it fade all the way to nothing or bring it all the way up, and that'll bring it all the way up. I'm also gonna show you a little not a trick, but it's not always so hard or so easy to find. If you, um, if you click here, you'll see opacity here as well, right? So you have opacity here and you have opacity here. But this little button here, if you put your mouse on it, it says switch. If you click on that, this noise option comes up. Now, if you know what noise is, it kind of makes things look grainy. So I'll show you. I'm going to zoom into my text a little bit here, actually. You should be able to see it, but I'm going to zoom in a touch here. So I click on noise and I start bringing this up. You're going to see if I zoom in. It looks kind of grainy. If I bring it down, nothing. If I bring it up, it looks really grainy. So noise is good sometimes just to get kind of a grimy effect depending on what you're looking for. I just wanted to quickly show you that. But that essentially is how you will add effects to things. Let's do a shape really fast. I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna click on the shapes and pick the ellipse tool. Before I draw out my circle, I'm gonna hit shift to make sure it's a perfect circle. And I'm gonna go back to my move tool. Now I can move it around. Now if you see the color up here, the fill color is white, stroke is black. I'm gonna to go to my fill color. I'm gonna change this to a blue, maybe like this. And I'm gonna move it around. Now I don't want this stroke on here, so I'm gonna go click behind here to my stroke, which is in the back. And again, the way to tell the difference between them is the fill color, is the circle's always a bit lower and the stroke's always a little bit higher. So I'm gonna go click on my stroke and I'm gonna click this button to get rid of it. So now there's no stroke. Now let's add some effects. I have my shape selected. You can see it's selected here in the layers panel. Click effects. And let's add a uh, outer shadow to this. So if I drag this out, you're gonna see a shadow start forming here. Give it some depth here. So now we have a ball a circle with a shadow on it. Not super exciting, but just wanted to show you. And if I add some, um, uh, some color to it, you can see here, I got some color, to, I mean, some stroke color, maybe make it red. Doesn't look that great, <laughs> get rid of it. Um, so yeah, this is, these are your options here. I'm gonna add some noise to this as well. I showed you up here, there's our opacity to bring it down or bring it up. And then you can click on this little button here that says switch and you can add noise to things, which, which is actually pretty useful sometimes in backgrounds and things like that, you can add this. So that's some simple ways to add shadows and effects to your text and shapes. 
Hope this was helpful. And in the next video, we're just going to keep going and get more advanced with the program. Thanks.